Oh. What do you want? I can breathe. Please, the knee of my dick. I can breathe shit. Uh -huh. Bro, get him, get in the car, man. I will. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well today. I'll be showing you how to create this animation behind me in loving memory of the man that was just killed in cold blood. Um, it was really a sad one, but I thought I would make it and take this opportunity to just, you know, show you guys the animation part of it. Uh, without further ado, let's hop into After Effects now and I'll show you guys how I made it. Ciao. So, um, yeah, we are in After Effects as you can see um, where I created it. So what we'll do is go to Create New Composition. And um, we know we want to do 1920 by 1080, right? And uh, yeah, let's leave it at 30 seconds. And I'll do 24 frames per second. Let us name it tutorial. Oh, I wrote tutorial. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So now that we have our uh, we already have our composition set up. Let us first have our background. I'll hit Control Command Y for those of you using Windows Control Y. Then I'll choose the yellow color. Mind you, you can always use any color that you want. I'm not quite sure what yellow that I use, but you can always use any color that you want. I'll name it background. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'll name me background. So we already have that. Uh, what else do we need? We need a photo of George himself, which I already took to Photoshop, and I I took it to Photoshop, and I um, kind of cropped the black out. So you see this picture right here, it, it does have a black background. So I just took it to Photoshop and I kind of took out all the black around it. So I think this is the one, this is the one that I, yeah. So you can see, I already took out all the black background. And you can always use the same black background. So it just depends on whatever you want to use. But for me, I just thought, this would be nice so that if I put it on any background, this will kind of stand out because if I have the background with it, it kind of everything will kind of clip all together except if I was using um it on a, another black background. So yeah, um that's that. So what you want to do now is let us drag that into the composition right here and uh, let us put it to this side here. So um, the next thing we wanna do is, you see how it reveals here, right here like that. We we'll wanna do that first, the, the review. So how I made that is I went online, I found this ink uh, footage which by the way i'm gonna have the link in the description below so just download just download this sync footage you see how it reveals so what's happening here is you can see the white and the black so imagine if everything in this black space is transparent so anything you put behind it will be revealed so you know from the beginning it was like all white so all white means you don't see anything so the black now starts to review whatever you put behind the black so now let us go to our tutorial here and let us import the the um ink so now the ink is right there so what you want to do now is let us grab the ink and in fact, let me rename it ink. The ink and the 
flight um, picture let us grab on two of them and con command shift C for to pre-compose so I'll name it ink underscore Floyd Floyd pre-compose pre-comp okay so let us open that pre-comp so what's happening now is we want to change <coughs> you want to toggle right here in case you don't see your toggle just click right here now you see the ink is on the top now we want um we want to have the alpha channel i want to have light to replace the alpha channel so you just click on where it says this track map and you go with i believe oh no i forgot the main um luma inverted okay so it's luma inverted so this is happening because I have this image here so what you want to do is move this image to, to the front so you can see it reveals it so but what's happening here is I can see that the review is too fast so what you can do is go to your ink layer because it's a footage you can always right click on it go to time go to time stretch so what time stretch will do for you is you can either make it faster or make it slower or in this case we'll make it slower so let's do like 300 so now it's gonna make it slower that way it will get a um, more review of charge right there cool huh so another interesting thing we would want to do is let us animate the picture so that as it scaling up then it's revealing at the same time to make it more dynamic so click on the floyd layer click on s for for scale click on the stopwatch and go to maybe your first second and make it like 150 so that way it's scaling up at the same time but that's not the end you want to don't forget your uh, easy is an easy out so what I did is selected both keyframes and I held on to F, um, Fn and F9 it would automatically make your keyframe easy is an out and you can also click on the graph editor and uh, kind of change how you want your animation to work so now I'll drag it out just so I can get <clears throat> a longer and slower animation. See that right there? Cool, huh? Let's play that again. To make your animation slower, don't forget you can always drag it out. So the more you drag it out, the slower your animation gets. So now if we go to the tutorial layer, you see how it reviews it. Cool, huh? So now what we want to do is we want to move this to the side. So it reviews like that. I think the review is kind of too fast. Let us go here. Um, you can always make this slower for the time. Time stretch. Gotta increase this to 400. Okay. 
okay i think this is better so um if you see from the original one georgia is black so what i did is i just went to the george layer and i went to my effects and preset and i typed in tint so tint will make it all black and white and i also added curves so if you had curves you can always make it darker whatever you want you can bring the highlights and the mid-tones and the shadows so i'm dragging the shadows down a little bit more <clears throat> so now if we go there cool right so now that we have the animation going so now what we want to do is i ended at 15 seconds so now we want to add our text let me see how the text comes in again okay so you can see behind behind the text you can see all this um um kind of news report so what i did is i went on google i went on google and i typed in and i typed in george floyd news and i screen grabbed all this let's go back to after effects now and I just brought, you can see here if I isolate it and actually I'll just show you from the project file. So I brought in that, where's my screen grab? So yeah, so this is the screen grab that I took. So what I did now is just take the screen grab, put it into my tutorial layer put it in the back of the yellow so what I now did is position I keyframe the position from left to right so you can see like that then I easy ease as usual go to the graph editor stretch it out there then bring it all the way just to make the animation slower like that so then what I now did is go to the to the opacity I go to my one second reduced it to like 10 I believe so you can see like that to 10 keyframe that then 0 so it goes from 10 sorry it goes from 0 to 10 to reveal it as you can see right there cool and i also went to change the mode if you want to get back to your mode just always toggle and switch from from that so i changed that to i believe multiply yeah i know it doesn't show so much but trust me it has some little effect on it so yeah like that cool then another one that i did had was this right here if i double click on it so this i saw this on instagram some lady posted it and i just maxed this out just floyd justice for floyd then i went ahead to drag that into how do i keep doing this and drag that into the layer again um now i'm gonna mask it out i don't wanna you know show the ladies profile so max that out i'll rename this to george underscore pg that's background okay let's do the same thing again but this time we'll be doing scale so we scale it 
from like okay from 100 let me to let's do like one 110 so obviously it will get bigger and okay we need to reduce the opacity of course make this stretch out a little bit like this it's not gonna be too much of an edit but I'll just so let's leave it like that so now go to opacity and let us reduce the opacity by let's do 10 as well or let's do like 5 actually so keyframe the opacity go to the first frame make it 0 easy ease don't forget to always see these then stretch it out to a little bit actually okay it's the transparency okay let's see what we have now cool so we have that now so what we're missing now is the text okay make sure you always save as well so now to get the text what I'll do is to make it easier I'll just type I'll just type our oh man I don't even know the text that I used so let me go back to the right one and let's just find out what text that I okay I used you can see right here impact regular 250 is the size so let's go to tutorial now let's double click on let's go to impact impact right there regular 250 what's the size so now let us type our I P. So let's bring that down. Let's bring it like that. So let's change it to black. So what I'll do is, since I know I want to have sort of the same animation, what I like to do is I like to walk on one. Then I just double click and sorry, I duplicate and just rename, you know, whatever that I want to change it to. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to do RIP. And um, I'll also show you guys how I created this judge with the, with the black coming out first before the judge showing up. In. So for RIP, what you want to do is you see how it just comes in and you don't know what it is like where it's coming out from i want to show you guys how to get that so what you want to do is first create your animation i like slower animations so go to p keyframe then go back now drag your you can hold shift for it to go longer so now if i play it snaps out but i don't want my text to also come out until about the yeah until about the third second so now that you've created your animation um select both keyframes fn f9 so that will easy easy and easy out as you can see and um i'll go to my um i'll go to my curve and just drag it out like that you can do both left and right but i just like to keep this for now so it kind of easy is at the end so what you want to do now is when you get the animation that you want 
and I like to drag it out so it goes slower. You see that? Lines in slower like that. So now that we have that, now I'm gonna show you the disappearing. So you already have that. So what you wanna do is create a new um, solid. Let's change that to white or black and rename it RIP underscore math. Click OK. It's gonna fill up the screen, but we don't need the amount. You can just drag it to wherever it is that you know you want to review. And drag it up, put it back to make sure it would cover out the RIP. So what's happening here is now as you can see the black now we're making it cover the you can actually leave it like that. So we're making the black now cover the RIP right but since the black is still showing we can see the trick. So to hide this black now what you want to do is you see how you have the RIP mat above your text layer. So now you want to make sure you have your toggle switches on. If for those of you that might be on the mode, um, just click on it and you'll have that. So you see where it says track mat, go to your track mat and just change it to this alpha inverted mat. You see now the black disappears. But what's happening here is it only disappears, but it's actually still there. So you can see now that it's hiding. It's hiding our RIP. Okay. So I'm just gonna have. See that. And. Um, you can always play with this as much as you want so that's that for that so now let us create let us create for George so if you watch this closely the black comes out and George comes back in so how I created that is as a matter of fact I'm not gonna duplicate I'm just gonna create a new text and let us say George and let us have like that okay so now you already know this is your final you know this is your final frame um, you already know that's your final frame right and we also have this black behind so what you want to do is first of all create a new solid name it you can name it whatever you want but I'm just um, saying you know giving you so name is George underscore let's name it george underscore map um let's change this one too you can always use any color as you want but the reason i don't want to use black is because this is black already so let us use white okay so now let us have the white feeding on the church like that okay so as you can see the way this is now you have judge kind of chopping out this black right here which is exactly what we want now so sorry I got all my composition all messed up but okay yeah well so we want to come back to our initial 
um, our main composition here so what you want to do now is you want to have judge instead of the instead of the track mat on top of um, on top of our text now we want to have our text on top of the on top of the um, track mat so now you can see you can see judge but we want to now use this um, black um, judge text to kind of chop out this white around it so now we'll change the track map now to alpha invited so when you change that it's going to chop out that underneath so now we can now change our um, track map color back to black so i'll press command shift y and change it back to black cool huh so then we want to get the animation from the initial let me just close some comp so we're not confused here so we'll be using only the main comp so okay so let me study this again i'm acting like i didn't create it so you see the black comes in then judge comes out okay so let's first do let's first work on the black coming in and i'm sure you can guess how that was created already because it's the same way um the rip one was created so what we want to do now is we want to have judges there we want to have the black um the black solid the black study want to have it move so position let's see want to need to stop there position go back to go back a few frames and let us hold shift and drag it backwards there. so now if you place it shows judge right okay don't forget your easy is then go to your curve editor create your animation however you want and let us spread this out so now you have this now revealing judge but that's not what we want we want judge to we want judge to sort of come out as this is coming in so now since we already know where this lands, let us go to text of judge, go to P for position, give it a keyframe animation since that's the end. Now we wanna go back. We wanna go back, sorry. Now drag this out to the back. So that when this plays, so that when this plays as judge is So now, already easy ease and click on that. Then, so what we can do now is to spread it out as well. So as that one is coming in, judge is coming in as well. Don't forget, the more you spread out your keyframes, the the slower your animation gets. So I'm sure the next question now will be, how do we hide this? I mean, you kind of figure it out with how we hide, we hid the RIP. It's pretty much the same thing. But where this gets a little tricky is, because we're already doing a track mat for George and this black mat here. So now I can't create a new solid now. So let's say, Math underscore George underscore Math. Let's just say that. And uh, let's do it 400 by 400. So now, what I'm trying to say here is we can't just have this directly on this like this let's, let's let me put it so let's go to the back 
So you know with the, how the track mark works is that we want to cover up want to cover up this black right here right but just watch if I try to do the track map for this now you see it's gonna get confusing because George is already track matting a black solid I want to track map here so and I don't want you guys to get confused so what you want to do is you see this judge text and the judge uh, man what you want to do is make sure you pre-compose them so I'll do command shift C and I'll name that judge maths okay so now that judge and judge text and the black is already in their own composition now now we cannot track math that composition with the new um with the new solid that we have here so if i now go and do alpha so now if i play you see now it's hiding still now it comes out voila so that's pretty much that's pretty much it guys and um i mean the rip for the judge is the same thing i don't want this tutorial to get too too long but um yeah that's pretty much how you can create something like this i hope you find this tutorial helpful um don't forget if you have any question uh put in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and also turn on your notifications so you would get notified once i put up any tutorial i'll see you guys in the next video ciao